if shaitan is everywhere how to save ourselves اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الصلاه والسلام على رسول الله امر بالمعروف والنهي عن المنكر قال there is a beautiful ayah in the verse uh, in the surah al-ara verse number 16 to 18 where shaitan said to allah uh, he said اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فبما اغويتني لا اقدن لهم صراطك المستقيم ثم لعت انهم من بين ايديهم ومن خلفهم وعن ايمانهم وعن شمائلهم ولا تجد اكثر من الشاكرين شيطان has uh uh like attack, attacking from everywhere like for an example he said i will attack from the front i will attack from the back i will attack from the on the right side and i will attack from the the left side i'm going to explain to the another lecture what is the definitions of this front back and up and down and everywhere how do we are uh, able to protect ourselves the uh, in order to protect ourselves we are unable to the first of all we cannot protect ourselves at all except by holding the hand of allah and what is the meaning of the holding the hand of allah that means holding the book of allah in our hand and reciting that and do the recitation of the holy quran understanding the quran do a lot of azkar and there's a beautiful ayah also in the surah al-baqarah was number um in the verse number two where allah says alif lam zalik al-kitab la rayb fihi huddal lil muttaqin this book is the guidance of those people who has the taqwa and the taqwa of those people are the one who has the taqwa uh, protecting their ears eyes tongue and especially among them all is especially their nafs and how do we protect that nafs we are uh, first of all we have to understand something we are unable we are totally uh, zero in order to fight a shaitan we cannot fight it that that's it. that's a bottom line we cannot fight it and the only way that we are be able to fight it is through the la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah by following the guidance of the quran by following the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah has given the guidance to live the life according to the sunnah how do person is following the shaitan like for an example uh, he has to do his five times prayers on time he has to save with us god and above all these things the make sure his akida is pure he is not going to the graves he is not uh, believing on something ritual he is not believing on some customs <laughs> on some bid'ah what is not instructed by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so there's a main factor that has been interrupting the life of a human being but rather keep your akida pure to the la ilaha illallah and then stay with the car and uh, do your do not this is important do a lot of as car you can have a misfa in your uh, in your pocket and you do always as call like an astaghfirullah wa man kullu zaman was also also say uh, you can say subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah allahu akbar wal hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al aliyyul azim and the second one also you can do uh, the rule like allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innak hamidum majid also allahumma barik ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama barakta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innak hamidum majid and also you can do la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahul mulku wa lahul hamd yuhyi wa yumit wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir also you can do the azkar of astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli dhanbin wa adubali also you can do the azkar of la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minaz zalim also there's azkar which is la ilaha illallah and among all the tasbih the biggest one that's going to keep your heart purified that is la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah now when we do this azkar this is something like uh, you know we have a basket um, in the bathroom and the basket is empty and we put it under the tap and this drop of the uh, coming from the tap is like tick 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 each time is going to the bucket there will be the time come when the bucket is filling up uh, with the water this is similar to the case when the heart is like a dead heart the heart is dead without the zikr of allah because there is a beautiful ayah in surah ar-raad verse number 28 where allah says ala bi zikrillah tatma'inna al-qulub Uh, no doubt that the peace of the heart is in the zikr of allah because the the zikr if, if the zikr of allah is not in the heart that heart is not a fresh it is like a smelly bad dirty 
uh, mir and do not get uh, misguided by the nerves that you are a good person you are okay do not be misguided because this is the deception and the, this is the misguidance of a shaitan nafs who is being whispering in your heart and they whispering in your mind and your ear and rather wish to do a lot of zikr even even nobody is safe uh, from misguidance of a shaitan even even the ulamas are misguided by shaitan even the biggest ibadi are uh, with the taqwa has misguided by shaitan so we have to stick with it as much as possible is the instruction because nobody becomes like a hundred percent but the more you do you more purify your heart and there's a nur of allah that goes into your heart it automatically helps you to stay from now think about this you did this for like a month or two months or something by naturally you will file the you will feel the difference and now what happens by this routine the shaitan will come that and his target will be to 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 break your routine now stick with your routine like do your azkar before sleeping and do your azkar do the recitation of the quran in the morning do the car in the middle of the night and every salah do the car and also before sleeping uh before sleeping make a uh before sleeping make a salah and the other car and then go to sleep and whatever the sunnah way uh before sleeping do that stick with this and first of all uh lower your gaze when you see something haram because this is more important because this is how the shaitan goes into our uh into our soul to corrupt ourselves but rather we stick with that and the our gaze and stick to our a uh, goal what we are doing and stick with that because if you are not doing that shaitan gets a chance to, to distract you and re-